I'm Neha Parashar, working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. We are on step 3 of IND preparation today, that is US FDA meetings and today we are going to discuss second part of this step 3. In the first part of this video, we talked about what are the FDA meetings and why they are so important. What is PADUFA and BASUFA and depending on if your product is falling under PADUFA or BASUFA, we have a different types of meeting. If you have not watched that video till now, then you can watch it now. The link for all the past videos have been given in the description box below. Now let's start with today's topic. In today's video, we are going to talk about four things. First, what are the types of meetings under PADUFA and BASUFA? Second, what kind of topics or questions we can discuss with FDA under which kind of meeting? Third, what is the similarity between PADUFA and BASUFA meeting? And fourth, what are the differences between PADUFA and BASUFA meeting? So let's start. The first question is, what are the types of meetings with FDA? If you are developing your drug molecule under PADUFA, then FDA have four types of meeting. Type A, Type B, End of Phase which is called as EOP and Type C meeting. So these are the four categories of meeting under PADUFA. Each kind of meeting has a different purpose. Let's discuss the purpose of each of these meetings one by one. Let's start with Type A meetings. In Type A meetings, you can discuss with FDA regarding any disputes that are not resolved and still going on. So you can arrange a call or a meeting with US FDA to discuss those disputes and this falls under type A meetings. Similarly, anything related to clinical hold or special protocol assessment can also be discussed under type A meetings. I've already explained this concept called clinical hold in my last video. So if you have not watched that till now, you can watch it. But if you want to understand the special protocol assessment, what is this term and what is this concept actually is, then let me know in the comment section. I'll make a separate video on it. Now let's come to the next category of meeting that is type B meeting. The purpose of this type B meeting is that you can discuss with FDA before submitting your any application, for example, IND application, NDA, BNA application and so on. So if you have any questions related to that, you can discuss with US FDA. And also post approval related topic, for example, risk evaluation and mitigation strategy that is REMS. This can also be discussed. You can also discuss regarding breakthrough designation or emergency use authorization. Don't worry if you do not know any of these terminologies. I will surely cover these concepts individually in the next video. Now let's come to the next category of meeting that is end of phase meeting. In short, they are also called as EOP meetings. As the name itself is self-explanatory, these meetings are performed after end of each phase. That's why they are called EOP or end of phase meetings. So if it is after phase 1, it is called EOP 1. If it is after phase 2, they are called EOP 2. Then here comes the next category of meeting that is type C meeting. When to use these meetings? Any guesses? When can we use type C meetings? So let's see that. Any kind of topic which cannot be classified as type A or type B meeting will put those topic under this category. Also, sometimes we may need some specific information from FDA, right? For example, if we want to change our formulation, but what is the expectations or opinion from US FDA, we can discuss all this in type C meeting. So basically, if you are not able to decide that this topic falls under type A or type B or EOP meetings, then it will fall under type C meetings. Also, we need to consider how urgently we need to discuss with FDA. For example, if we have type A meetings, this meeting will happen within 30 days of the meeting request. But type C meeting takes more time. It happens within 75 days after the request. So we also have to keep this timeline factor in our mind. Now let's come to the meetings as per BASUFA. Do you remember what is this BASUFA used for? BASUFA, this is an act which is applicable for biosimilars, right? So if you are developing your drug molecule under BASUFA, that is Biosimilar User Fee Act, that means you are developing biosimilar product. Then you enter into a development program which is called as Biosimilar Biological Develop Product Development Program, BPD program. For this, FDA has five categories of meeting and each of these meeting has a different purpose. Let's see one by one. 
So the first meeting is biosimilar initial advisory or in short it is called as BIA meeting. The name itself is self explanatory again here. These meetings are used for initial advices from USMTA before developing a biosimilar product. So um, if you want to develop a biosimilar molecule, you would like to discuss with FDA if it is even feasible to develop the biosimilar molecule or not, right? So you will discuss such kind of topics with FDA in BIA meetings. Then there are other categories like BPD type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. It may really look difficult to remember which meeting type is for which kind of topic, I'm sure. So for that, I have here simplified which Basufa meeting is equivalent to which Padufa meeting. Let's see that. Basufa Biosimilar Initial Advisory Meeting, that is BIA meeting, is similar to Type B Pre-IND meeting. Similar way, BPD Type 1 meeting is similar to Type A meetings and BPD Type 2 and 3 meetings are similar to Type C meetings. BPD Type 4 is similar to BPD Type B Pre-BIA meeting. So these are the similarity between both kind of meetings. Now there are also some critical differences between Pasufa and Padufa meeting. Do you know that? Any guesses? Yeah, so let's see that. First is briefing package and the second difference is user fees. So briefing package, uh, we'll see what is this briefing package in the next video. But just for now, you should know that briefing package is required under Basufa that it should be submitted along with the meeting request to FDA. If you do not submit it, FDA can deny your application, meeting request application. But this is not a requirement under Padufa except type A meetings. We'll, we'll see that in the next video. Then the second critical difference is user fee. When you participate into BPD program, you have to pay a user fee which will be calculated by FDA. While this user fee concept is not applicable for Padufa. Okay, so these are the two main differences between Basufa and Padufa meetings. Now before we end this video, do you know there is one important meeting type which is called advisory committee meetings. Do you know what is the purpose of this meeting? If you know the answer, then put the answer in the comment section. I'll reveal the answer next week. Also, if you want me to make a video on advisory committee meeting, then let me know in the comment section. In my next video, we will see the part 3 of the FDA meeting. What is that? How to perform meeting with USFD and what are the steps basically. So in that, you will see the briefing package and other things. Till then, let's stay tuned for the next video.